In order to even be able to get started, there are two things that we're going to need. The first thing is the Sims 4 Studio. This is a software that will allow us to create Sims 4 package files. And then the second thing that we're going to need will be a photo editing software. Now, this can be any photo editor that you're comfortable with. Most popular one is obviously Photoshop. And the closest second is GIMP. I don't know how to pronounce it, so I'm just spelling it. This is the editor that I use. So therefore, I'll be using it in this tutorial. The links to all the programs will be in the description below. So once you have your preferred software installed, we're going to go straight into the Sims 4 Studio so that we can get that package file. Now, when you open the program, it looks something like this. Um, it is a pretty simple interface and it straight up tells you what you can do with it. So as you can see on screen, we have animation, build, cast and object. In this tutorial, I promised some clothes, so we're going to go into CAS. Now you have several options right here of what you can do, like um, CAS, create a CAS standalone, create 3D mesh, add CAS part swatch or override. Now for this tutorial, we're just going to focus on the very first thing, so create CAS standalone, so make sure you have that ticked. And then just click CAS button. So, as you can see, you'll be brought to this mess of a catalog, but there are some filters that you can use. So you have species here, we have age group, we have part type, I'm gonna go, sorry, I'm just looking at my screens all over the place, and game pack, I'm gonna go, uh, go into the base game. Content, I'm just gonna leave it as all. So here we have all of our um, female adult tops that are base game. And I already have a top in mind for this tutorial, so let me just look for it. Oh, here it is. This top. Now this top is one of my favorite tops in The Sims 4 game. So I'm just going to select it, make sure it's selected, and then I'm going to click Next. Oh, this is very important. You're gonna wanna save that file into your mods folder. So where your general CC or custom content goes, this is where you're gonna wanna save your file. So for me, like on Windows, that will be Documents, Electronic Arts, The Sims 4, and then Mods. You technically don't have to save it there immediately, but at some point you'll have to transfer your files to that folder if you want it in the game, right? So all your CC needs to be in your mods folder in order for it to work in the game. So you're gonna wanna make sure it's saved that exact path that you see on the screen. So once you have them saved, the Sims 4 Studio will bring you to this screen. So I removed my face so that you can see the screen better. Now, as you see on this side, we have our little sim model wearing the shirt that we chose. Up here at the top, we have swatches. So, so far we have only one swatch, but you can always add more swatches or you can remove swatches. So for now, I'm just going to leave this one swatch here. Right here, as you can see, we have three different cards. One of them is texture, another one is meshes, and the third one is categories. For now, we're just gonna go into texture, and this is the one that we're gonna focus on. And right here under texture, you want to focus on this part right here. As you can see, we have this image of our little shirt right here. And as you probably guessed, this is the image that we're going to be using in our photo editing software. So to get that image, you're gonna wanna click on diffuse. So right here, now you have all these other things here like shadow, specular, normal emission. But for now, we're just going to focus on the very first one, diffuse. So make sure you have that selected. And then after it, you're gonna go into export because we're exporting this picture. We want to get that picture so that we can edit it. 
so just click export so as you can see we're saving it as PNG image and I'm just going to name this one top I'm just going to hit save once you have it saved just open it in your photo editing software so for me that would be GIMP so I'm just going to open it oh, there we go the only rule for photoshopping your piece of clothing is pretty much only to stay within the lines of your item right so you don't want to draw onto this transparent background and one of the first and the simplest things to do is to simply change the color of the shirt so I'm just going to go and select the part that I would like to change the color of so I just had it selected and then I'm going to click colors and then hue chroma and right here I can adjust the color and let's say I want it to be light pink so I'm just going to leave it as is and I have lightness right here so I'm just going to bring it up a notch and I have chroma here which acts similar to saturation but it's not exactly saturation All right so I might want to make it a bit lighter oh well maybe that's a bit too light and of course you always have opacity here so I'm gonna bring it down a bit like this I'm just going to press OK All right so I've changed the color of my shirt amazing how simple was that so for tutorial purposes I'm just going to save this image right so I'm going to click file file and then I'm going to click export as right and I'm just going to export it as top click export and I'm going to replace it I'm gonna override it because I don't need that old shirt just click export right so our shirt is exported now so I'm just gonna go back into my Sims 4 studio there we go and right now um, you remember how we exported the image make sure the diffuse is selected right now we're going to import the image right so click import and there we have it this is our top I'm just going to select it and open it so there you have it this is our shirt now make sure you always hit save right so let's say your package has been saved and you just click OK before we go into the game to check it out if it works let's have some fun with it so I'm just gonna go back into my GIMP 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 whatever I'm just going to zoom it in let's say hmm I want my pocket to be a different color than the rest of my shirt hmm. that sounds like an interesting idea I'm just going to zoom it in a little bit more and that should be fine and I'm going to use this free select tool and I'm going to use the free select right so I'm just going to select pocket right so I've selected a pocket and I'm just gonna go to colors and again hue chroma and I can change the color of the pocket and what color should I do should I do yellow summer's coming or should I do like blue for some scenes blue or maybe I think I'm gonna do yellow like something like this gonna make it a bit Okay, should I make it lighter or should I make it darker? I kind of, I kind of like that. Gonna lower the opacity a bit, only a little bit, right? I'm gonna press OK. I'm just gonna go zoom out, and there you have it. So I'm just gonna go again, click Export, and right now I'm just going to name it Top One. I'm going to click export now you can name it whatever you want I'm just naming it top one because I do not want to overwrite uh, my top I'm just gonna go back into the Sims 4 studio 
and I'm gonna click add swatch right so I've added a new swatch and I'm gonna go click import again I'm going to import my shirt with the pocket okay and there you have it but another fun thing that I thought I'd show you here is like if you want to just like delete this pocket you don't want a pocket there right so I'm just gonna go back into GIMP and I'm just gonna undo all the actions and then I'm going to zoom it in and like I like the shirt but maybe maybe I don't want to have that pocket right there so I'm just gonna go into the to, 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 to smudge tool right and I'm going to select um, this circle right here and I'm oh this is actually an okay size and I just want to get rid of the pocket like I don't want that pocket there anymore this is probably boring to watch me using my non-existent Photoshop skills right so if you want like you can make it cuter like however you want like I'm just using this much tool just like to do it just to demonstrate really what's happening All right so if I make it a hundred you see the pocket is gone I'm just going to export this one as a top two right click export go back to the Sims studio again add a new swatch again import and you just import your image so right here I have top two I think that's what I named it right so there's our shirt exact same swatch except no pockets again make sure you hit the save button always save it and make sure it's saved to that path it always needs to be saved to that path all right so let's jump into the game and see what we came up with oh my gosh that that EA fashion style um, it's just it's very unique For this first tutorial on CC I really wanted to make it simple and easy and if you guys would like to see a bit more complicated tutorials like with different pictures and textures and all that um, please let me know in the comments so that I'll know what content to make but anyways yeah appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next one